It just gets back up again. <sighs> Commander, what the hell are we dealing with here? Couldn't tell you. But I've got a pretty good idea of why all that carrion went missing now. Damn it all! Something's there. Switch! Someone will be here to rescue us any moment now. So the militia headed for the Hog and Highway, huh? We can get there by circling back past the clinic. You want to follow him? Then hurry it up. Should be a good spot to rest. Believe it. Every time we knock one down, it just gets back up again. <sighs> Commander, what the hell are we dealing with here? Couldn't tell you. But I've got a pretty good idea of why all that carrion went missing now. Damn it all! Uh, Adel? No! You need to fall back! Now! These things can't be... No way! What in the world is going on here? Mana, you say? I did hear that a handful of Normans had mysterious powers at their disposal. And you're saying that seashell there gave you the ability to use them? That's ridiculous. You can't expect us to actually believe this. <sighs> and knee slide! 
God Almighty, Lila Almighty, Adel Almighty, I beseech thee, grant me thy strength! Ah, oh, crap. No dice, huh? Not a speck of shame in this one. Well, Commander, now that we know the whole story, let's ask Adel and his lady friend to save the townsfolk in our place. What? Come off it, Gren. These two aren't part of the militia. Heck, they're practically still kids. The mayor chewed us out enough when you first joined up. Imagine how he'd react to this. Well, I'm not hearing any other bright ideas. We already know we can't take down those wolves ourselves. And there's more where they came from. What about all the people still out on the highway? W well Besides, Commander, that all here's the guy I told you about yesterday. The one who wanted to sign up with us. It, is that right? Yeah. Uh, it's Adel and Karja, right? Hate to put you out, but we're gonna need you to rescue the townsfolk in our place. Far above. If you're that set on this, then let's make it quick. Oh, right. Take this with you. Let me know if you run out, and I'll top you off. Try not to get too in over your heads. We'll come back you up once we're finished tending to the wounded. Best of luck to you. Already. What's the big idea? Blocking the road. Don't you have any idea how vital today's negotiations are? You do realize that they don't understand human speech, right, Dad? Anyway, I'm more worried about whether the others managed to get away safely. I can't put my finger on it. But something about these wolves gives me a bad feeling. Hard to imagine feeling good about a wild animal attack, son! Anyone, man or beast, who gets in the way of our business is evil incarnate from head to toe! Once the militia gets here, I'll have these mutts turned into fur coats and sold for a profit! Who... who are you two? Oh! Folks from the militia! A bit on the young side, but I won't complain! Gotcha! Whoa-ho-ho! -ho! It... incredible. Looks like I was right to think those wolves were out of the ordinary. <sighs> so much for those fur coats. Priorities, Dad? Shoot! Good call! Uh, how would you two like a job escorting us to our destination? I'm Romes of Carpent Trading, by the way. Romes Carpent? You're that big money merchant from Karnak. Well, what do you say? 
I can pay double the militia's rates if you get me to my business meeting on time. Oh, for crying out loud! Cruz, uh, you're about their age, give or take. Talk some sense into them! No can do, Dad. But why not? Because those wolves just now weren't the last of them. What about everybody who ran off ahead of us? Are you really so short-sighted that you'll throw away every scrap of trust the town has in you just to close a deal? Credibility is the most important commodity a merchant can have. It was you who taught me that. Ugh, way to go, me. I always did have a way with words. Oh. Well, that settles that. You're free to go help the others. We'll make the sensible choice and return to Karnak. It's nothing special. I'm only doing what any reasonable person would. This could be trouble. If the rumors are true, these things are immortal. Then what are we supposed to do? Well, the only option is to use one of us as bait. Just kidding. Don't worry, I'm not that cold-blooded. Run as soon as I give you the signal. W wait I never agreed to anything! Uh huh Who are you guys? Let us take care of this. We're saved? Wow. Way to go, you two. The name's Rafe. This little fella is Ashley. I've heard those things were unkillable. Was it that weird power of yours that did them in? That's what I thought. Except you don't look anything like a Norman. Can't say the same for her, though. Now's not the time to start picking nits. So, what are you doing out here anyway? I just came out to pick some wild plants and stuff. The kid lives on his own. Apparently, he does this every so often to earn some extra money for food. He's not short on guts, at least. I'm sure Rosa or the priest would have been happy to help if he'd asked them straight up. Oh, stuff it. I can't stand anybody from town. And that includes you, Rafe. You're the one who went on about there being a lot of beasts around these days before inviting yourself along. And thanks to that, you didn't walk straight into their stomachs. Would it kill you to be a little less prickly with me? I mean, you get along just fine with that little girl over at the lighthouse. N not really. Sometimes she gives me gifts and I return the favor. That's all. I do wonder if Sasha's alright, though. Good call. Better than waiting for more wolves to gather. Come on, Ashley. Let's get to stepping. You don't have to tell me twice. What's this? Another one. Down that way! Stronger the bet! Shut 
with the people who bailed you out. You're real gussied up. Doesn't seem like you're from around these parts, though. That's... What concern is that of yours, pray tell? You're right. Being ambushed by those creatures has me all of a dither. Oh, goodness. I truly am a pampered, spoiled thing, aren't I? What in hell is she mumbling about? My name is Millette. I am... a traveler passing through. Ahem. Forgive my lapse in manners. As it happens, I have a request to make of ones so capable as yourselves. You see, I am rather eager to continue down this highway to the next town over. But those peculiar wolves littered the path ahead. Might I request that you dispatch them and ensure my safe passage? Hang on. You're not about to tell us there's even more people farther up the road, are you? Uh, n not at all. There were no signs of anyone save for myself. You're better off calling it quits for now, given the situation. Take the path we came here on. The local militia will be there to protect you. It would seem there's no insisting otherwise. Very well. I shall do as you suggest. That scream just now... I think it came from over there. If so, it'd be a first. That's Pharos Lighthouse. Any vessel traversing these waters depends on it. I think the man who tends the place is living there with his kid. from there at once blast there's no time to lose those girls are in danger who are you two stay back this won't take us long Thank you for coming to my rescue. Aren't you that same lad from Rusveri's place? Oh, never mind that. 
I could really use your help right now. I, I should say so. The lighthouse has been overrun by beasts. Not only is my daughter still inside, but Rosalind too. She had merely come by to pick some flowers. Rosalind? That the girl whose family runs the inn? Please, save them! I beg of you! We'll make our way in, but whether they die or survive is up to them. Living is a choice, one those two have to make on their own. How? All I did was state the obvious. Enough talk. We probably want to hurry. Something's there. Switch! Now this I like. Let's keep up the pace. These defenses look pretty sturdy. Let me take a crack at it first. Switch! 
damage. Gotcha! Get in time? Wanna take a break? Karja. You did good, kid. Now stay back and watch us finish the job. Uh, okay.
feast was anything but normal. Hey! Daddy! Sash! Thank the stars! You're not hurt, are you? saw how you tackled that thing, Adel. You two were awesome with a capital A. Right, Commander? I told you he knows his stuff. That he does. Even without that strange power, his swordsmanship goes beyond his years. He and the young lady here were so in sync, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. It's because of you both that Rosalind and my little girl came out unharmed. I can't possibly thank you enough. The other travelers who were along the highway are fine as well, save for a few minor injuries. Adol, Karsha, you've got our gratitude. Uh, <sighs> Kren! Rosa, I didn't even realize you left town. It's a good thing you're okay, though. I don't think your folks could take it if something happened to you, too. <sighs> oh, right! Me and Rosa here have been friends since we were little, so I owe you for saving her, too. Thanks a million. Paddle, just what were those creatures? That's something we're still trying to get a handle on ourselves. But let's hold off on it until we get back to Karnak. Might be a good idea to fill the mayor in on the situation and hash things out ASAP.
What a long day. Can't wait to chow down back at the inn. Wait, do they even have any empty rooms? Uh, then again, these cuffs will probably... Switch. We can worry about that later. Switch. Let's focus on getting some grub for now. Switch! 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 Switch. Switch. Hey yo, short time no see. Almost too short. Oh, this hasn't got anything to do with the militia. I know it's a little last minute, but after talking stuff out, we decided to throw you to a welcome party. Starting now. A welcome party? For us? Don't mind him, Karja. Really, it's more that we want to repay you for everything you did earlier. All of us are around the same age, so we hope to sit you down for a chat and see where it goes. I'll just come out and say it. Long story short, we want to be friends with you guys. <laughs> friends? Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll go. Happy? I, I promise you won't regret it. That settles that. We'll lead the way. Didn't this area used to be a shipyard? Huh. I'm surprised you know about that. The Sandras. They say she's due to be scrapped, but she's been sitting here as long as I can remember. Right this way, you two.
what's all this? I'm glad you asked. Welcome to the secret headquarters of the Karnak Free Youth Brigade. Ugh. Are you really still set on that whole Youth Brigade thing? You never change, Gren. By which I mean never learn. Or grow up. <laughs> Typical Gren the Goofball. Oh, yeah? You want to say that again to my fist? Now, now, break it up, boys. Is this any way to act in front of our guests? Wait, you're... Actually, now that I get a good look, this room's full of familiar faces. Well, all of us were born and raised here in Karnak, so we grew up alongside each other. This place has been our usual gathering spot ever since we were little. I'm a bit older than the others, though, so it's been some time since my last visit. So, yeah. We still get together here every now and then. The two of you wound up our main topic of discussion today after everything that's happened. No sooner did we consider inviting you over than Gren the goofball here bolted out the door. Sorry for letting him off his leash. I'll bet he's pestered you half to death by now. You keep calling me a goofball, and I might actually go brain dead. Then what'll you do, hmm? No worries there. Your brain's been fried since the minute you came out the womb. We really are sorry about the trouble. Still, there are a lot of things I'd like to ask you two about. We may be in the same age group, but there's a certain aura of mystique around you. I couldn't agree more. Would you mind going into detail about that power you used to save us? I get the sense everyone here is trying to make you feel welcome in their own little way. You're not obliged to humor us, of course. Though I suppose you wouldn't have come along at all if you were against it. Far as I'm concerned, the less they know, the better. I don't mind, though, as long as you cover for me halfway decently. Well, no need to be shy. Have a seat over here and make yourselves comfortable. You travel around in search of adventure? Get out of here! That's flippin' awesome! Now I can see why you were so excited about the story of the Sea King's throne back at the inn. And everything you know about sword fighting is self-taught? Man, the life you must have led. And at only 17, too. That makes you the same age as Rafe. Cruz and I are 16, just one year younger. And Gren here finally got his dream job with the militia after turning 18, right? Technically, he's still in training on account of all the trouble he stirs up. <laughs> that sounds about right. Wouldn't be Gren otherwise. Ah, oh, cram it. I forget though, how old are you, Mira? I'm sorry, what was that? Might want to walk it back, or your next trip to the clinic might land you in the morgue. P point taken. That reminds me, Rafe. How's working away from home been? You got a living position at the mines in the countryside, right? Yeah, I've gotten used to it, more or less. Plus, the pay's decent enough. Anything to help my mom out, you know? Rafe. Bet you don't get much free time either, Cruz, now that you're helping the family business. Guessing you gave up your goal of being a shipwright? I may as well have. That's just the way it goes. It was only ever a childhood fantasy anyway. How are things in the militia, Gren? Commander Gulliver seems pretty put together, at least. It's fulfilling work, sure. But the commander's got less of a backbone than you would think. And by now, our rock-bottom pay is a joke everybody's in on. We can't do much about that except complain to your old man. All that extra money from downsizing the militia's staff and budget goes towards the Balta Sea Force's protection fee. It was the mayor who made the choice to take that huge chunk out of your funding. Hey, Gren, was it? Am I connecting the dots right about your dad here? Whoops. Did I forget to mention? Sucks to say, but yeah. The guy you talked to at the clinic, Mayor Clement, I'm his son. It's ironic. I joined the militia as a way to stand on my own two feet, and my dad still finds a way to give me grief. 
Grief is kind of a strong word there, bud. Uh, sorry. I should know better than that. All right, you three. You're starting to talk like our regulars over at the tavern. Ooh, that bad, huh? We did sound about three times older just now. So, how'd you find yourself in these parts, Adol? Up north? Well, now, you're not about to tell us you're actually a Norman, are you? He wouldn't have come on foot if that were the case. I was told you met Dogie and Dr. Flair during your travels. Yeah? So how does Karja fit into the picture? Me? Well, I am a Norman. Ah, oh, hell. Uh... <sighs> well, I think the Norman people come in all different strokes these days. Th that's true. Just look at how amicable Anar is. Besides, Karja had a hand in saving us, so... Hold that thought. <sighs> What's got you worked up all of a sudden? I hear shouting. And that's not all. Who could that be? Gren! Gren! Are you in there? Pops? Is that you? Keep the door shut and listen to me! Under no circumstances are any of you to leave that room! What? Why not? Crap! It won't open! Pops! Pops! <laughs> What's going on out there? Sounds like screaming. And cannon fire. <sighs> it's... gone quiet. Shit! Hey! Answer me, damn you! Waiting around in here won't do us any good. We gotta see what happened for ourselves. <laughs> 